since I'm, mm -hmm. um, you know, since I'm a student, um, yes. our 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 curriculum in education is 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 negative. It's mm -hmm. affecting us badly. Okay. Because it has yeah, because it has been chill and poor. Okay. So it doesn't give us the necessity, the mandate for us to think deeply and mm -hmm. interpret a certain ways. Mm. Because it has been the booklet that we read. There okay. is no any thinking outside the box. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in case if in case um you getting the understanding in, in the basic concept of the book, um maybe uh, is uh, doesn't give you the upper hand and that's the one who would chill and poor and get the hundred marks. Okay. You'll be devalued, yes, in the it's class. True. It's true. Yeah. They will not mark you yeah. where. But you see, the good thing about it is that we are learning to live. Okay. You know, we are as after school, the exam, the mark. I think if there is any advantage, maybe to give you scholarship somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That is sure. the only advantage I think you will have if you have the hundred percent and somebody gets ten percent. Yeah. The advantage is that maybe if you want to do MSc or PhD, they will consider you. Yeah. Also, yeah. For life. For life. I think it's what it's it's what you learn on your own. Yeah, it's true. You know, yeah. But our education system has been it's like that. If if you are not like if, if you're not getting a good scores, mm -hmm. the society will neglect you. The yes. classroom will neglect you. Yes. That will devalue your confidence. Yes. And how many people can stand with this confidence or yes. that yes. they will pursue with what they are doing? It's true. More like most of the time, people will just um lose the courage to come um, to move on because right. of how the system is. Yes. That's true. And and even the after exam, some people, I mean, we have been seeing students who um um stupidly, let me say, kill themselves because of the, the their grade that they had in classroom. Wow. Or yeah, oh yeah. You hear that? Some people they yeah. Wow. And because of yeah, society, how they are going to feel bad in the society. But we yeah. should all know that if you go to our parliament now, the people who are there, they are not first class people. Some of them didn't even <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. I mean, the reality, yeah. if you look outside, I don't know if the students are listening to radio or they watch TV, but most of the people we say are uh, successful, those on TV, even whether it's football or show business, most of them didn't even go to any school. No yeah, 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 yeah. And the other ones, true. some of them even have the number of the president. You know, they can call the president in a minute, and most of our professors cannot call nobody. So, yeah, 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 it's true. <laughs> I think. It's good when you are in school and you want good grades. There's nothing wrong, I think. But you need to balance it. You need more information than okay. just getting the mass. Because after Marks. school, even if you want to be a professor, the most innovative professors, those who even when they get to the VC position, are able to do anything for the universities, are those who are a bit more outside the school thinking. You know? Yes. Yo, yeah, 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 it's true. When they become the VCs of the university, they don't do anything. The few who are a bit more exposed beyond academics are able to, you know, bring in the funds and do a lot of infrastructure and maybe even structural changes in the university. But yeah. the ones who are very much strict on themselves and academic product, a lot of the times don't if they are not even good leaders. You know, yes. because in life, I mean, if you want to bring any change, you will be alone. People will fight you, you will fail, people will laugh at you. That yes. is what you need for life. Yes. You know, so if you can't stand you failing in class or people, you know, laughing at your grades, then when you start business on your face and you owe people, what would you do? You know, you of, of course you are not. Yeah. Um, it allows not us not to be innovative. No. In fact, no. yes. No. Yeah, it is. No. It is. But it is we need us. you. We need you to take your lives in your own hands. Okay. And not expect that much from the school. As a matter of fact, I don't even expect much from government. You can put pressure on them. But when it comes to your life, put pressure on them to do some things for the society. But okay. you as a person, you as an individual, fight for yourself. <laughs> fight for yourself. Put, a, you know, have a dream, have goals. Push yourself. You know, and whatever you push yourself, after a while, you will see that you start to make progress. That is a fact. Trying to move around, so you know, most of your mates will move, will travel to England, America, Canada, South Africa. They will move, but what they are trying to find is good life. 
But there is something more than good life, which is living what is in your heart, the impact you can leave before you leave this earth. You know? And that one takes courage. That one takes courage. And I think that school may not necessarily give us courage. School may you know, give us the academics, which is okay. But for you to be innovative, go to the field, try and fail. You know, whatever that you want to work on, put something, put something to say, I want to build a product. I want to build a business. I want to do something for myself. And because most innovators, let's face it, most of the people who they say were innovators, most of them were not even pure, purely academic. There were people who were just fidgeting and who yeah. believed that they could they would produce something with, if they gave much time to it. You know, the best of writers were not so much English professors. You know, the best of engineers were not so much the best in the class, per se. There were people who were very good with acting, with doing, you know. The best of our business people are not business professors. Yeah. Yes. So I think that if, you, if you've been able to go to school, that is enough achievement <laughs> for you. Even if you are last in the class, you're still far more ahead of most people. Yeah, true. And for you to see yourself as nothing because you didn't pass the class, that is not. No. And as a matter of fact, if any of us will pay attention, it is not difficult. It's not you and boring. Boring that you are doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's you and boring. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's true. Mm. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's true. Yeah, it's you and boring. Yeah, so. The la mm -hmm. um, last time, I think in our group, I saw a certain video that mm -hmm. in the Chinese, they bought a machine that. Mm -hmm. That um split the cocoa like yes. it, it, that it split the cocoa and it will uh, remove all the seed and yes. separate the cocoa and the pot. Yes, like it, it was a machine. They don't do anything. They, they, I mean, they just put the cocoa in the machine, and the cocoa yes. is uh, and the machine will self will split the cocoa and remove the seeds mm. and separate it from the pot. Mm. And this one was an a simple an engineering work that mm. someone can innovate and create. That's for right. us to move on, yes. Mm. But look at what they just think of and mm. what idea and bring mm. it. Mm. Now, they are, I think they were, I just read some news that they were, import, they were um, importing some cocoa to Russia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. And there was a news that they have, um, like they are, they have bought some of our, um, you know, those our farmers, um, mm -hmm. those, who are, those who have in-depth knowledge in, Mm. cocoa production mm. they have buy them to their homeland okay and they are paying them mm. and they are showing them how to plant and i heard it seed in cocoa. i heard it yes. it's, it's amazing it's amazing yes. but you see um for me they will continue to do anywhere that they think that they can take advantage they would but yeah there will still be something that will be left for us sure with people like yourself like a lot of young men who are showing concern because, I mean, the machine that I saw, the Chinese machine, I don't think that if you go to a lot of our Greek institutions, they are there. The problem, no. no, no, it's true. They are there. If you go to gratis, gratis, I'm sure, would have something like that. I did a Greek engineering. This is, this is basic engineering. The problem is the commerce side and then the believability. Because the farmer, if, uh, if, if let's say, if you go to a great farming, you, if you go to cocoa farming and you commission your friend who is an engineer, I've seen this machine produce this for me and you give him money, you produce. You even forget about the engineers, go to the fabricators or go to a magazine and tell them I want this machine. By the time that you engage them six months, if you have the funds, they will come up with the machine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yes, because you just have to have the money and tell them what you want. But most often, those who have the money would rather want to import. You know, would rather want to import than yeah, to engage yes. the people to say, I want you to produce this for me. That's where the, 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 the challenge is. Jeffrey is a Greek engineer. He produces mainly machines and a lot of those. Same, maybe even better option than the Chinese. But how many of our farmers, big farmers, will go there and procure the machines from Jeffrey? For him to be able, for him to be able to build his business to a certain level, you know. So in terms of technology, I think that majority of you, if what is your field? 
Your favorite, which, which one? Um, is I read statistics. Okay. If uh, mathematics, yeah. Okay, mathematics. If you are, if I have money and I need a lot of the works that you can do, and I give you money, and I said I go and put your team together and do this. The moment I believe that you can do it, and even when you come up, when whatever you come up with, if I say that no, 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 you have to go and make changes, and you have those skills to make changes, we will come up with something which will compete anyway. You know that? Yes. It's, it's not anything that yes. you cannot do that the one at Oxford or Yale will do. You will come out with the same thing. And even, even if you come out and it's not as much. Well, mm -hmm. Go ahead. So is this the case that we don't have trust in our, our own people? Mm -hmm. Part of it is like that. Part of it is like that. Part of it is also, we also don't seem to have holistic understanding of industry. So we think that somebody making machine is a genius. It's not a genius. Whatever they're doing at Swami is those are machines. You need money, you need technology, and you need market for you to produce anything and build a business around it. It's as simple as that. There are a lot of young people who have expertise, especially the, the software people. You know, but would we give them the work with the intention that we want you to build this? And we, continue, we will continue to use it until it's perfected. Or we will go to China or Switzerland to, to just go and buy and use millions to go and buy the same software that boys uh, in Ghana can, can build. You know? And so no matter how much innovative I am, if nobody is buying the product, at a point, I may give up. You, you see that? Yeah. Yes, at a point, I may give up. Yeah, sure. So, so it's not so much... Our people can no. I think that you 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 are as qualified as anybody. If they pick you to any university, you beat them. I'm telling you, <laughs> you beat them square. Yeah, sure. Yes. So in terms of the academics, whatever approach that they are using, I think that when you go, the few things that you will struggle with will be maybe their style of teaching. But after six months, you yeah. catch up, and you'll be able to beat them fairly yeah. on their field. So uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should because um, our our seniors were complaining. Um, some of the seniors uh, mm -hmm. they got a chance to go to India to pursue mm -hmm. their masters mm -hmm. because um, for them maybe what we we the secondary school are doing here in Ghana mm -hmm. for them maybe their junior high or primary school they are doing it. Mm -hmm. So they have advanced more than us in terms of our curriculums and mm -hmm. our activities that we are doing. And for yeah. them, more of them is practical, mm -hmm. and ours has been. Always, always in a booklet for what it is yes. our book. Yes. So for them to know, like they know and understand, they touch mm. what they are doing. Mm. So for them, they have the gross understanding of mm -hmm. every, everything that they are doing. Okay. If it is maybe, yes, if it, it's about drawing or anything, maybe. Now, if you go to um, um, most, most of the villages, they don't have the ICT and, and the, those, the, um, the laptop to use in, term, in, in terms of maybe if they are doing ICT in their mm -hmm. schools. But for them, they have the touch and the feelings, mm -hmm. yes, and they, they make control of everything. Yeah. So for them, if you go there to pursue your education, it's kind of very difficult for you for the first time because um, I know some of um, I know some of them who are there who are pursuing their masters because they are having challenges. Or let's maybe get to some a period of time for them to fit in their system. That's right. Yes, because it's the industry. Yeah. The industry is the yeah. industry. The moment they move you into industry, you, you, I mean, you will struggle a few times, but after a while, you'll be fine. You become the best. And, and, and that one yeah. I know for sure. The majority of our people, when they go the first few months, you know, it's as if they are not okay. But after they, under, they have understood how their things are done, they beat them. They beat them. So um, I think we just have to keep the confidence. And uh, once we are, maybe we don't have the industry so much, maybe we don't have the you know, the, the belief from the people who must believe in us, we still have to push. And that's what I'm saying. You, you have to create the belief yourself and, and yes. don't wait for them. Because then you will complain and cry and fight forever. And probably they also have the same challenge anyway. Don't forget that. They may be holding big positions, but they may not know so much. <laughs> they may not even be aware. You know, so any idea that you are working on, believe in it, push it until it succeeds. That's that's, that's, okay. that's 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 what I believe, and it, nothing should be should be higher than you. You should not be higher than anything. To say that oh, I have a degree, I can't sell this. 
if it's Kose that you can sell, go ahead and sell it. If it's Omoto that you can do, go ahead and do it. The benefit is that now you are going to use your business skill to polish that if you have to, or to even structure that well. Because all the brands that you hear, what do they do? The KFC, what are they oh. saying? And it's not chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That they have, they have fried. It's not anything. Yeah. The difference is the, is the structures that they use. Yeah, yeah, the branding. That's right. The systems yes. that they have built. And that's where your school comes in. Where you'll be able to sit yeah. down and structure any idea that you have. Any idea that you have that people want. You've been able to structure it so that you can do more with less uh, manpower. You know, and you can get more people okay. to, to play part in that. That is where the school that you have, that's the advantage that you have as, as somebody who can read, who can write, who, have, who, who has a high education. So you'll be able to build and structure things, no matter what, even if it's water that you're selling, anything that granite that you're selling, you can still build something and you package it well. That's what it's what I'm saying. You know, and that's the advantage that we have with us being, so it does not matter whether your product is physical, or a soft product, can you brand it? Can you package it well? Can you systematize it? Can you use data to do the things that you're doing well? You know, without you feeling frustrated because that's, that's where the, uh, the problem is. Because we, we, we have been taught so much not to value the things that we have. If you meet an that's African sure. who really values what he has, that's a, that's a rejuvenated African. <laughs> I'm telling you. He's so yeah. intelligent, but he still thinks that somebody is better. You know, that's a major problem. You, you are doing so well. You're doing something that's significant. Most people probably may not be able to do it, and yet we write it as nothing. And they would do something small, and they will put it on TV and make a lot of noise and become experts. They will come here and teach us. They will come here and teach us. <laughs> and they have not done it for one year. Hmm? And yeah, it's true. Talk. You know, yes. They have not done it for one year. Yeah, we don't get any results. But they will come here and, and tell you that they are experts. And somebody has been here for 10 yeah. years doing it, and we don't think that that person has even succeeded. The person himself may not even think that he has succeeded. Yeah, <laughs> because maybe if you go to um, um, those who are like those who are doing the groundwork, maybe mm -hmm. those, uh, if you go to fit um, where the engineering, those who mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. the who yeah. um, the restoration of cars mm. those who those who that we quote them they didn't go to school who are mm -hmm. doing this those mm -hmm. who are working with the fitters mm -hmm. and the rest that person may fix a car mm -hmm. but we will not recognize it but let a, but let someone from a student or mm -hmm. or a university student do that mm -hmm. we will put, we will make it known to the people that this mm -hmm. guy has done something like this that's right but the same thing that the people who are in the people the, who didn't the so called people who didn't right. go to school are doing <laughs> go to school are doing but we don't show much don't concerns show. on them that's right yes that's right. but if someone just do just small little things mm -hmm. we'll hype it like that's right. a, 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 a new innovation that that's has right happened. yes it's true yes, yes. kovi yes. uh-huh did you hear what you were saying yes i was following okay so also tell us Hey, uh, Mr. Kovi, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you are American boy. I was going to the, the saloon and the light okay. went out, so I had to no problem. Uh, find no something problem. for my head. That's right. Okay. So you have met Osman. And we are talking about us working and believing in what we are doing no matter how little it is. Because sometimes the people who make a lot of noise, especially Americans, they have not done it all, but they will blow it. But we will do it, it's working, and we still feel like it's nothing. What is your, what is your yeah. take on that? Well, I think education is part, and mm -hmm. our history also. Mm -hmm. um, I think our history, most of the time, is from the slave trade, Mm -hmm. So we don't know much about um, the African entrepreneur or innovators mm -hmm. or the great um, African people who mm -hmm. made an impact in Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's the slave masters who we've been praising all along, <laughs> thinking they are, they are the best. Yes, That's right. because when you check our 
our history books or our yes. textbook. You hear the Martin Marcus book and you yes, <laughs> all these white white British mm -hmm. um, uh, slave masters. Mm -hmm. So it has passed from generation to generation mm -hmm. to for us to believe we can't do nothing without them. But right. in actual sense, we can do a lot mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. them. Mm. And we've proven it in many ways. Mm. So I think our education is part. Mm -hmm. Our education, if we get the right education and if we change our mindset, I think mm. we can do better than they mm. are doing. Yeah, it's true. Yes, it's true. Because you, what you do, what you are doing, yeah? <laughs> if you were some people from somewhere, the kind of noise you will make. <laughs> The, right. the, the, the kind of noise you will make, eh? yeah. Somebody wants to come. So, see, if you were, if you were some of those people, the kind of noise you will make, eh? Because because of the the, the, the results that you are getting, but we will get the results, and we will still be so much yeah. um, sober and humble, and maybe even very unsatisfied with the results that you are getting. <laughs> no, yes. if you know, we, have, we would have done a lot you know we would have done a lot so um, <laughs> so uh, Tino you, you are joining us if you can hear us maybe unmute yourself put yourself on video if you want us to see you and let's see what you say as well. so can we continue to talk So I think the education, we need to change our mindset, mm -hmm. get um, a lot of information for the, the youth, especially mm -hmm. the youth, because we, we are the, the future of the nation or Africa, right. because the, 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 the population of Africa now is very youthful. Mm -hmm. And in other, other Europe and other countries, they are aging. I, yes. I read somewhere why Italy, mm -hmm. they are complaining why the population is um, the age of the, the population is old. Yes. They don't have youth, youthful population. Yes. So I think if, if we develop our mindset, we restructure yes. our education, right. um, in the next maybe 10 to 50 years, yes. I don't think there will be any continent that can mm -hmm. um, challenge with. Africa. That's right. Yes. Sure. Yes. Sure. Anybody else wants to make any statement? Uh, uh, Maxwell, if you want to talk, yeah, uh, you can unmute yourself and, and tell us. Because uh, I think we are doing something. We are doing something, no matter how little it is. And I think that there's no point of us getting frustrated. Whatever that we are doing, let's be proud of it and do it well, whatever whatever business that you're doing, and even if it's one city that you're getting every day, that's a good step. If you stretch your mind and you put in more hours, <laughs> it will blow up. After all, most of the outside Africa, most of other places, when they do business, they try the idea. When it works, then some people will come and give the money. Sure. We, you can hustle. Nobody will come and give you money. But at least we can still... <laughs> <laughs> we can still go. So those are the things that we have to tell ourselves that don't wait for the government. That's what I want to say. Don't wait for the government. Don't wait for help. If they come, praise the Lord. But if they don't come, don't feel bad. Continue to push what you have. You know, that's, that's, and be proud of the fact that you've been able to think and put a business together. That's, that's a huge thing. Most people, most people, most people undervalue that to put a business idea together and just even employ yourself is very significant, you know? And so uh, if anybody has something to say, you can say it and let's see. Maxwell, if you can hear us, please say something. Uh, Marie, if you, you want to say something too, you can say. Okay, Osman, what, what did you hear of what uh, Kofi said? Yeah, it's true about our system. Yeah. That we have to make an adjustment to our system. Yes. And yeah, that's true. But it will basically depend our leaders on mm -hmm. how they make the changes. 
mm. because of day in and day out, there is a political tension. Everything has, been, mm. has become politicized. Yes. That government goes and government comes. So we yes. don't have an accurate and precise yes. way of living. Our they, have to, they have to keep it that to have a job. Oh, don't forget that. They have to do that. <laughs> 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 they have to do that to have a job. Don't forget that. It's a business for yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So, it's true. It's true. Uh, hmm. it's true. It's yeah. true. So don't, 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 maybe you can help them, if, especially if you enter into politics. You know? Yeah. But maybe before you enter the politics, push yourself as well. Yeah, I think I, 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 I yeah. I agree with you of what mm -hmm. he's saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marie, you want to say something? Yes, I, I wanted to say that the school, for now, we can't do anything about it, but we all know it's wrong. Mm -hmm. So whilst we are in school trying to look for the grades, we can have other options. Mm -hmm. We have to educate ourselves. Now, YouTube is the biggest university, and whatever you want, you can actually find it there on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So we go to school having mm -hmm. in mind that what we are being taught is not going to help us in mm -hmm. total. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we should seek different knowledge mm -hmm. that can make us, that can give us a different mindset. Mm -hmm. It okay. can build us before mm -hmm. we, we even come out of school. Yes. We don't need to wait till we, we come out and go and look for a job, which is not there. All right. We have to sit, read more, Mm -hmm. Look for videos on YouTube. Study to make things easy. Okay. Oh, okay, Mary. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, you're welcome. Okay. Atta, Steven, you can also say something. You have joined us. Thank you very much for joining us, Atta. If you can hear us, Steven, we are listening to you. You are listening. Can you hear us? Yeah, Steve. <laughs> I think maybe he's having a network problem, so okay. the audio okay. is connecting. Yeah. Okay. How about uh, Maxwell? Maxwell uh, Yamado. Yeah. Um, Max. Um, ah. Yes, Max. Max here. Okay. But I joined not long ago, so I didn't hear. Okay. Much of the presentation that was that was right. made. Okay. But I I'm I'm one person that is interested in uh, putting up something that I can call my own. Okay. Uh, I've tried a few things that didn't work, mm. <clears throat> and that is really scaring me mm. in, in in starting another thing. Okay. But I I believe that you know doing something on your own, no matter how small, is the way to go. All right. Look, there's no much you can you can you can do than to be proud of yourself that I mm -hmm. built this with my own hands, my knowledge. Okay. And and today it is what it is. Okay. So I think it's interesting that yeah. uh, people of like-minded mm -hmm. persons are sharing such ideas in such forums. Fantastic. Uh, we would like to hear uh, success stories. Okay. You know, of right. young persons who have been able to do something. That's right. And let us know the struggles they went through, the uh -huh. difficulties that they went through, how they had to break through. That's so right. we could also pick some lessons from there. Okay. Yeah, that's that's my my my, my contribution. Fantastic. Let me tell you this, eh? Um, actually, the, the thing is, if it's business, you're going to learn. You're going to fail, you're going to lose money, you're going to lose friends. Those are the realities on the ground. And so when you start and you fail, it is part of the process. Very few people will be successful without going through that. Most of us will go through that and get ourselves bruised, cut, you know, uh, maybe even before. But eventually, we gather the skills and the mindset uh, to build. And so we should, we should know. And um, we should also know that don't wait for any government to give you help. If they do it, fine. If they don't do it, don't be bitter, go ahead and keep trying. Because eventually, we are the ones to control the economy. We can't say that our economy is doing well when <laughs> the, our best and brightest are working for the government and UN. You know, that's what we hail in our country. Oh, he has had an appointment with MTN, with this. 
<laughs> or we are talking about sports and entertainment, those cannot be the dominant. Those can be maybe the subset, not the dominant. You know, so when you try and you fail, it's painful, but that is what everybody else goes through. Maybe Kofi would want to tell us some of the things that he has also endured because he is into it. <laughs> so Kofi, we have maybe a, a, a quick follow up. Okay. You see, I the nature of my job is such mm -hmm. that I cannot uh, have full time to monitor and control my business. Okay. I need to employ persons mm -hmm. who I can entrust this into and then they will manage for me. Okay. So the difficulty is that the experience I've had is that mm -hmm. people cannot be trusted okay. when you give them such opportunity. Yes. Look, I have changed management over and over again. May I know what, and what you do? What you is get about? Yes, so I, I, I have a, a couple of restaurants. Wow, okay. I have a couple of restaurants. The nature of my job is such that you, you see me in that restaurant mm -hmm. once or twice in the month. Okay. And so when I, I finally sit down to go through the books and see what they have done, it's a mess. They have dropped the money. So you keep in, you, you, you sink your money there and mm -hmm. in, in a quarter it's gone. You have to oh, bring okay. another mm -hmm. and it is like that all around. Mm -hmm. You see, okay. so uh, it looks like until you have the time to manage your own business, That's right. you cannot have a faithful or honest staff to do that for you. It's true. That's right. a critical, my, my critical challenge. Yeah, that's true. So at a point. So I'm not ready to put my money anywhere mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. my eyes cannot be on that. I'm exactly. not ready at all. You're right. You're right. You're right. I think that you must be present. Even those of us who are present, they still trick us. <laughs> so <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is a fair game. You must be present. You know, you must be present. And even if they are smiling with you, boss, boss, but you know, even when you catch them, they still want to tell you it's not true. So that's, that's, a, part of, that's a part of the game. But I'm sure you have also gathered a lot of wisdom. And uh, you, there are a lot of things that once you want to start another, you may want to do them differently, you know, because you have done it and you have seen where you did well, where you didn't do well, you know. But I think that much of the training should also be placed on the few hours that you get, the, the ones that were doing well, you should identify why those were doing well. You see that? Mm. Yes. Who was there? What was their nature? How did you train them? Those kind of people, how do you get them? Because the ones that were working, those are the ones that you have to copy. You know? Because I'm sure that most of them, the ones that are working, you have good people there. When you talk, they listen. And you can see the way they, they relate with, they relate with you. Okay. you copy those. Oh. You see? Because if you cannot do your job, and, then you have to master. Yeah. You have to master the distant. Uh, yeah. Money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One other thing that I think is lacking is that, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, the number of persons on this platform now mm -hmm. having this discussion. Yes. How many of us are willing to nurture an idea mm -hmm. and then have a partnership with somebody who has the resources? Okay. And, and, then, and then build a business. Everybody right. wants to do it alone, one man right. show. Okay, you have a great and point. I think that is one thing that is lacking, mm -hmm. is lacking in, mm -hmm. in, in, in our part of the world. Yes, it's true. Somebody has the business, he has the acumen, he hasn't mm -hmm. got the money. Yep. Another person has the money and can spare it. Mm -hmm. But it looks like everybody wants to go solo. Yes. That is, that is killing us. It's true. You're Unnecessary right. competition. You're right. So I think it's one of the things that we have to 
be talking about and exactly. drumming home that look, Massa, you cannot do it alone. It's true. Get somebody and go along with. That's right. That is that is one point. Because I have what to you share. just said, eh, assuming you had a partner who would be present and who had the skill set and the temperament to work with you and the work ethics to, to work with you, to be straightforward with you, to be involved in the business. You know, it could easily work because you are bringing the resources. He was also using his time and his expertise. And once you are on the same page and you are not trying to outplay each other, it could just work. You know, because if he had somebody who was that, who had the management skill, then you didn't have to even be there all the time for it to work. So just as you are saying, uh, Maxwell, any of us could also be a potential partner with you. I think there are certain things that we must also all develop, which is business is tough to be, um, to be doing it alone, especially if you want to play big figures. And that if you partner with a friend, with a family, with somebody, there will be mistakes, there will be disagreements. It's part of it. But then we should be just straightforward and be patient to work together, you know? So I don't know, Mary wants to talk. Uh, yes. Um, I want to say that in terms of the partnership, it's not that most people wouldn't want to do, but mm -hmm. majority don't know others that much. Okay. So when it comes to committing money or whatever, they are a bit scared. Whoa. But if it's like a group, mm -hmm. let's say 10 people, 20 people, 15 people coming together, mm -hmm. forming a constitution and bringing out a particular idea, mm -hmm. then it's a bit easier. But okay. if it's just two people, sometimes there's this kind of rift. Okay. The person who is always present feels that she's doing, he or she is doing most of the work. Okay. And whoever is providing the money is not involved that much. So okay. with a little money in, in hand, you yeah. want to just pay you off. Okay. After all, she has the expertise in the business. Yes. But if it's in a group, like more people, mm. then it's easier. Okay. And also, but, but, uh, um, mm. as Kofi mentioned, the, the education to put us into fear. Mm. Like in school, I'm just saying, I mean, to, to answer the first question that mm. um, she asked about failure. Mm. In school, if you fail, you are penalized. And therefore, that attitude becomes part of you. You come out to do business, you fail, you feel that it's not right for you. Once you didn't get it right, you must stop or pause. Okay. But as you said, the failure is part of the process. Mm. And when you fail, it's, it's just like falling down when you are learning to walk. Okay. You don't stop walking because you fail. Okay. Or you fall down. All you right. just continue to learn how to walk. Okay. Uh, Maxwell, you, you want to say another thing? No, not for now. All right. Okay. So, uh, Osman, you have heard people are okay. So, tell us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, for now, um, for me, I, I don't right. ha have any word for us now. But okay. um, mm -hmm. after all the discussion, I would like us to um, comment on the fix the country saga that is right now. <laughs> the country. You want to bring yeah. over? <laughs> 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 So maybe um, Mr. Maxwell and Kofi and Mary, and maybe okay. they will have something to say about it. Yeah, but I, I want to say this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are some businesses that you must be present. And okay. I think restaurant is one of those businesses. Whoa. You have to be there mm -hmm. at the initial stages. You must be present. Whoa. Some businesses may need less attention. Okay. That can be tried with, with a trusted person, but mm -hmm. some of them, you must be there. Okay. So if... Um, you so much believe in it at the initial stages. Maybe you may have to quit your job Whoa. and then look for an online business that can bring you a little money to feed yourself whilst you nurture the business. Okay. Because restaurant is, is huge. Just look at Pizza in KFC. What are they doing? But mm. they have traffic. People buy a lot. Mm. So food industry is, is big. It's, about, it's a multi-million dollar company and once you, you, you believe in it, mm. commit to it, it will work. Wow. Even if with somebody, it's a bit difficult, especially in this part of the world. Mm. Okay. Kofi? You, you want to hear from me? Uh, 
said it all as uh, some business is you need to be present, just like Madam Marie said. Yes. It's difficult to manage business when you are not traveling. Yeah. A lot of the guys do, they, they want to do it, but uh, the cricket rate or mm. resources. Yeah. So I think maybe the pastor to all time and then supervise the staff. I think that's mm. what Restaurant, the biggest place, and there are lots of people that go to. I think maybe once a week or twice in a week, you find time and places. Wow. That would be best. Okay. But also, uh huh. Go ahead. They review myself. Because I had um, a man fly down from America just last Mm -hmm. week. Because just because I Mm-hmm. Okay. And then surprise them. Okay. So I think also maybe find more time in them. All right. Fantastic. Osei, if you are hearing us, we would want to hear from you. Ajakwa. Okay, so Maxwell, um, if you can hear, I want to ask you, so what are the things that you thought you were doing well? What are the things that you saw that were that you were very happy with in terms of the business that you run? Yeah, one of the things that motivates me a lot is to employ people. Okay. When I give somebody a job, I give somebody a living, Charlie, it puts happy. a smile on my face. Okay. And, and what I was doing was that when the, the, any new district that is close to me, I go and establish a restaurant. Whoa. Any new district that is so close it to is, my... So this is outside the, Accra, I assume? Yes, okay. this is outside Accra. Okay. And so uh, you have... In fact, when you start for the first six months, you mm-hmm. make the money. Whoa. And then your staff begin to misbehave. <laughs> you change staff and the quality goes down. Okay. And Charlie. And <laughs> <laughs> so what I did was that, what I did was that I paid them above the average. Uh, any job they can get around. Okay. I give them a good pay so that yeah. at least they can be content and then yeah. give me the say. But even that, it didn't solve after it. three months, it gets yeah. bad again. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. in fact, it, it's a cycle of changing staff and then mm-hmm. trying mm-hmm. to find ways of motivating them not mm-hmm. to dip their hands into your your sales. Yes. But it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But one one good thing I've learned is persistence. Mm-hmm. Okay. Persistence. Mm-hmm. When you establish and people realize you are making money, mm-hmm. a lot of competitors will spring up. Wow. Yes, a lot of them will spring up. Okay. Then you find what you are doing well and do it and still and still improve on it. Okay. You still gain your customers. Okay. So which part? So I, I could go around, I could, mm-hmm. I could go as far as Accra mm. to employ somebody to come and work for me. Okay. So which region? I give is you this? accommodation, I make so you which region? Work. What do you have most of your... no, Northern region. Northern, Northern part region. of Ghana. Okay. So which part is yes, this? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, is this my course mate, Matthew? Yes, this is your course mate, Matthew. <laughs> ah, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know yes, <laughs> less. Okay, all right, Matthew. I'm just yes. looking at the picture. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. But, but and, and so mm-hmm. what? What I think worked for me yes. was the persistence. Okay. People will come and they, 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 they cannot do what you do to, to sustain the customers and they mm-hmm. all fold up and you remain in business. Okay. Okay. So like you advised, mm-hmm. uh, failure is just w- telling you that, no, you did it wrongly this mm-hmm. time. Can you mm-hmm. try under another style, another method? Yes. Uh-huh. And as Afri- it gets to a point where Charlie... No, but as Africans, we must understand, uh, especially Ghana now. Ghana is a hot kick. A lot of these Europeans, Japanese, Chinese, they are giving their people money to come here. We need our people to also stand up. 
whether the government is supporting or not, we shouldn't bother. We just have to do something with our lives anyway. And it should even just be beyond the livelihood. Because with time, the same Maxwell will be a big company. But if Maxwell gave up along the way, we will not have him as an example to follow. You know, we will not have him. You know, so there are many people that we should be having as an example for us to look up to. But they, they, they left it because the frustration was too much. But as a matter of fact, it's our responsibility. Because what you have done, most people have, have been inspired. And for me, there is not just the jobs that you have given, but the fact that you have expressed that hope for a lot of us is key. You know, so our, our, which part is very difficult for you? Is it the people? Is it the financing? Where? Where, where is your greatest pain? My greatest challenge is having committed staff. That's right. So what do you recommend? How do we solve that? <sighs> well, uh, I have not had success in that area, so it will be difficult okay. to share okay. an experience that works. <laughs> okay. I think so that... I, think I, even that uh... tried, I even tried... Uh -huh. I even tried family people, and it was worse. No, no, that one <laughs> Of course, yeah. that one would be waste. <laughs> but how often were you training them? Aside the recipes, how often were you training them? Okay, so once I recruit a new staff, mm -hmm. yeah, I have to get a professional to take mm -hmm. them through training. Okay. Okay. And I have I have some background myself. Mm -hmm. So anytime I'm around, mm -hmm. I'm a cook. Okay. And customer service is key. Okay. And uh, I get people who give me feedback as to how the service was. Mm. And I, I quickly move in and correct that. Okay. So I don't normally organize trainings, mm. you know, for, mm -hmm. for uh, existing staff. It is okay. when I recruit new staff that I do the training. All right. And then what I polish I recommend, it myself eh? with time. What I recommend is that um, that should be your number one yeah. work. Yeah. That should be your number one work. Where you have your own models to train them on almost everything. Almost yeah. everything. Mm. On ethics. Maybe on a monthly basis. Yes. You <laughs> have to. Mm. Not, not the expert, you. Because they will feel your heart. The expert mm. can feel his heart. They mm. will see your pain. The expert mm. will express that for you. So if there is anything that, I think in Ghana, there are two things that you must master as the owner of the business the people, the people skill, how you are picking the people, why you pick that person and what you are training them with. Mm. That one you have to do. Mm. The money, you must be responsible. The accountants, me, they have problems. They have a lot of problems. So <laughs> mm. you, the people, picking them and training them consistently, especially telling them to be the work ethics, mm. honesty, the values should be constant. Constant. Mm. Every, the, 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 the business you're in, the, the turnover rate in terms of employees is very high. And it's okay with that. So you may even be doing uh -huh. more better than most people. Retail, restaurants, the turnover is very high. Uh -huh. If you have 1% from January to December, you have done well. It could be total, everybody is new, uh -huh. not in the next year. You know, so I think that you must uh, uh, look at you doing the recruitment yourself and training them consistently and having your own topics. And those who are very good, then you find a way to make sure that they stay with you. You know, and maybe they also do the training in your absence constantly. I don't, I don't so much rely on, uh, you know, until you're making hundred million or more, this expertise, this experts may not be so much good for you, you know, because they have to feel you. Let me say that one of the issues that has been of a big challenge is that, you know, we recruit ladies who, you know, are cute and, mm -hmm. and are, are appealing to customers. You get mm -hmm. that? Okay. So, <laughs> that's part of the product. You recruit eh? them and you, and you polish them up. Yes. You know, and then your customers come and snatch them away. Very good. You polish them. What you <laughs> they come and make them offers more than you pay them. And that's, that's yes. Buy them phones that mm -hmm. you, the CEO, you have not bought before. Fantastic. And the next month they are gone. Yes. 
In fact, they will not just live in peace. Yes, they will they'll begin it. to feed that customer free That's right. of charge. That's right. That's and, right. Uh, <laughs> and, and create a mess for you. It's very nice. And, and so, <laughs> I don't know. Marie, how, 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 how can we avoid this? Uh -huh. In the restaurant business, you need the ladies. That's and in right. fact, the, the, the old men will not let them be. Fantastic. <laughs> I think it's not only in restaurant. Wherever ladies work, the men they come like bee chasing them. <laughs> but I uh, I also believe that as an owner, <laughs> when you you have a meeting with them, you let them know how much you are spending mm -hmm. in total in terms of um, the products, the light bill. I mean, be playing with them. Let them know that it costs you to to run the hotel or, or the restaurant. Mm. When they understand, sometimes they, they are also human beings. Mm. They feel for you. Okay. But some people don't let them know anything. Mm -hmm. They assume you are making more money. They mm -hmm. just assume. Mm -hmm. And oh. when they are spending, they are... but when they, they, you are playing to them on how much expenses, mm -hmm. how much you spend on daily basis, on monthly basis, in terms of tasks, everything, the good ones, be compassionate okay. and they and they will they will feel oh. your pain mm. they will listen okay. fantastic so when they are even okay. stealing they are careful because That's they right. know a little thing can collapse the business mm. others then, who, mm. who might not care so much may not even keep long they will leave the business yes those who may not care mm. they will leave mm. the other thing the very few mm. who care i mean who are that caring who want to stay and who want to protect the business all right. So sometimes I think we okay. also don't let them know anything. They just assume that once, especially if you're an owner and you're always buying new cars, they assume, whether from the business or not, they just assume that you are you are overusing them to make your money. <laughs> you know. So let right. them know and okay. care about them too sometimes. If they have like funeral, they have some just show up. That human relationship. Okay. Dana, we are so much into it. We always want to feel okay. cared, cared for by others. They're also human beings. Okay. I think when you appeal to them in that that angle too, sometimes you, you may win the best of them. I mean, those who are ready to work and those who are, um, let, let me say, who have good hearts. Mm. Okay. Okay. What I'll add, okay. eh? thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Marie. What I'll add is that Welcome. Uh, if you just join us, um, we are talking about business and uh, finance as a group. So, um, Maxwell, what I'll add is that there's nothing wrong if they if you polish the ladies, and they look beautiful. That's a good job. <laughs> uh, keep polishing a lot of them. The good ones you will see your heart; they will stay. And um, you should also know that majority of our people will come and pick them, but they destroy them eventually because there's no good person who will come and pick your best, because they would also want to go and pick them and develop them. And don't forget that in terms of you know, restaurant work, retail work, most people look down upon such people, you know. So you have to also tell them that it's decent work and um, it's not because they are the lowest in the society. They have to understand that because a lot of them will be telling you, in Ghana, everybody wants to go to school. So, you know, it's because I didn't go to school, that's why I'm doing it. It's because the, my family is not rich, that's why I'm doing that. You have to correct that psyche as well. With them. And, and as Marie said, be open. You open, engage them. Okay. Um, if you get ten percent, you, you are doing very good work. If you get ten percent of them, okay, get the vision and trust you. And there is always somebody who will trust you and cover you anyway. You know. And so I think those okay. people, you pay them well so that they don't leave. Pay them. I mean, I, yeah. I would rather be more um, limited on the entry, and then put it more on when they have proven themselves to be okay. limited to the business. I will shoot it. If if they have to take more than me, I will do that. Because eventually, they cover so much for you, you know. So even if you have to split the profit with the good ones, do that. That way you can spread, you know. So uh, if anybody else wants okay. to say something. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. Actually, my, um, so Mr. Maxwell, I don't know whether you you differentiate yourself as a boss mm -hmm. from them or maybe you, you engage with them a lot or you, since you are the owner of the restaurant, you... Mm -hmm make yourself as a boss and mm. you distance yourself from them or you engage them a lot. You communicate, you have a friendly communication that mm -hmm. um, there's no existence of bosses mm -hmm. or so ever. Mm. 
Yes, that's my question to Mr. Maxwell. What are his yeah. Uh, I'm I'm the boss that is not always around. Mm -hmm. okay. But when I'm around, I'm a chef. But that's right. You know, uh, when I'm around, I, I say I, I'm a waiter and we work and 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 people my my customers are excited when they see me in the kitchen wow. when they see me serving them and and so i take pride in that mm. i take pride in that. and 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 particularly when i i want to show the example how the customer should be served mm. if i serve you and you don't eat all i have to find out why you didn't eat all the meal okay what went wrong and and must be, and sometimes you have to uh, uh, let them, what do you call it? Make them not to pay. Mm -hmm. If if the comment they gave you is, is so bad, mm -hmm. you have to tell them, no, 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 you can't pay for this. Whoa. And then you promise the person to come back tomorrow and try again. Okay. You know, so when I'm around, in fact, I'm a, I'm a waiter. Okay. I'm a chef. Mm. Yes. Yes, that it's, it's, it's not often. It's once a while. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. All right. So Augustine. Yeah, I think I think yeah, I think that's what um, mm -hmm. um Madam Mary and Mr. Kwabina is saying that with this intrinsic values that you have, mm -hmm. maybe they don't have all these experiences and the values that you have. That is what um Mr. Um uh, Mr. Kwabina and um, and Mary was saying you have to engage them in the training, mm -hmm. maybe either monthly or mm -hmm. maybe a routine training that they, they need to get all this understanding and basic Fantastic. ideas of yeah. yes. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Augustine, you want to say anything? Augustine, you have joined us. We want to hear from you. If you hear us. If you don't hear us, um, who, was, who else want to say something? Is Kofi around? Hello, Kofi. Yeah, I, I, I would want to share one mm -hmm. more experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, Maswe. Yes, I, I'm currently in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. But I've realized that there are a lot of business opportunities in, in the countryside. Wow. Mm. When, you, when you start, when you identify something and start, it is slow. Mm -hmm. okay. But you let the people develop taste for what you are presenting to them. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm telling you, when it catches fire, you are good to go. Right. Mm. Everybody wants to be in the city and you need a huge capital to start a good business in the city. So what do you mean by countryside? Yeah. Oh, like uh, you, you go a bit outskirts of, of, of the main city. Okay. Yes. Okay. You go a bit outskirts and then try to study around and find out what the people could be mm. needing that is not being provided. Mm. Then you start on a small scale. Okay. Mm. And then you know, you let them grow the taste for it. Mm. You know, at at no profit if 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 that if that should be it. Okay. But when it catches fire, mm. you'll be amazed what you make out of it. Let me ask you this: mm. What has been your experience in terms of honesty with the with with workers from the countryside, as you say, and those from the cities? Well, how what is the difference? What have you found? Oh, in fact, those from the the countryside are better. <laughs> but by the time they spoil, by the time they spoil, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> you can get a replacement easily. So, so but in the city, uh -huh. the one you are replacing with is already corrupt. It's true. I side with you. It's true. A lot of the people outside Accra and Kumasi. Uh, a lot of them, uh, they, they are very original. They have good heart. They feel your pain easier yeah. than Accra, particularly. You know, Accra is very harsh. You are destroyed it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so um, maybe uh, the others can tell us what they do. Maybe they have other expertise that some other people can benefit from. So, uh, Kofi, tell us the things you do that if anybody needs your service, they can uh, take it from you. Um, um, I, I do teacher printing. Okay. And also, web design, graphic design, 
Web design, graphic design. Web, okay. Bookkeeping and accounting. Bookkeeping. Okay. Okay. All right. Kofi is somebody I trust. I've dealt with a lot of the young men. He's exceptional. I've dealt with a lot of IT boys. They are very rough. They have no compassion. They have no respect. Kofi has very weird, uh, very rare. Kofi is a very rare personality. Accounting, IT very respectful and very truthful. And uh, if anybody needs a service, I will recommend that. And I'll put my, my actually I'll put my neck on that. I've dealt with him, he's exceptional. He's exceptional. And, uh, <laughs> this one, I, I don't say on any, a lot of people, Kofi is different. So Maxwell, if you need any service like that, he's a good man. Uh, Osman, if you need any service like that, Kofi is a good man. I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Osman, tell us who, what you do, who you are. And, uh... Okay. For me, I'm actually a student. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm a student yeah, at, or in Kenya. Okay. Massive. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, I'm not engaged in any work for now. Osman, you eat too. Yeah. You eat. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. So uh, maybe I will rely on uh, Madam Mary mm -hmm. Kofi and maybe anyone or Maxwell. Okay. And maybe during my summer break, I would like to come and maybe join them in case right. of any work. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So summer break. But um, for now, I'm just um, calculating and imagining there's some ideas of basic uh, um, okay. businesses. All that right. Maybe after work, yeah, mm -hmm. that I'll, after, after, after school, that, that maybe I will join. That's yeah. right. But the good thing is that so whatever, now, whatever your expertise, now there is internet. There is internet. Yeah. Coordinate, work with the other people who have the skills that you think you may, you know, like web design, social media, those things, and talk to them. What yeah. product can you bring uh, to the market over the internet? Just today, I, I read an article, I was sharing it with uh, Marie and the family. There's a young girl who, through Instagram, you know, she had the following and she found this eye, something, something that women put here. You know, they use the magnetic eyelashes. Uh -huh. You know, and uh, she, she just had the idea. Maybe it was even in existence. And she started to sell it through her followership. And uh, by herself, she was able to sell a million dollars a month until she started to employ. Wow. Now, she, they say last year, she, she did about 50 million. Now, this is something she didn't go anywhere. She just in a room with the same thing with the wow. as we. So I think that we just have to open our mind. There are so many things that we all can do from wherever we are. You know, hmm. we just have to look and keep on adding things. There's not just expose yourself. Expose yourself on everywhere. Don't worry, people will laugh at you. It doesn't matter. You're training one, you're training yourself, and two, you're exposing. People will know what you're good at. You know, so Maxwell, for instance, the, the, all the expertise that you have gathered, we want to see you with a lot of videos that we can come. If I want to open a restaurant in Ghana, I can come to your page or your channel and learn a lot from there. What you do, what happens is that people start to see you and then you're also helping people to get the right information. We need that. Um, Osman is the same. All the things that we know, put them there. Because what we, just as we were saying uh, uh, earlier, most of us, we know so much but we don't, pub we don't publish them. Africa knows yeah, so sure. much, but we don't publish them. American small boy knows little, little, little. He becomes an expert, he makes a lot of noise. <laughs> you know? Meanwhile, it's just yeah, it's some money. It's just loans that they, they are using to build their businesses. So, and yet they will come here and be teaching us. Here that they can't even do business. They will be teaching us and we will call them experts. And so whatever that you have, the internet is a gold mine. So let's put all our expertise there. I found Kofi on, on, on Facebook. I saw his ad and I call him. You know, but if you just forget about what people are saying that don't just even if it's well, every second that you want to put something there, put it there. It is it's not they are not charging you. Forget about, <laughs> you know, keep pushing. <laughs> Everybody starts to recognize you because that's what they do. There's something powerful about media. The people that we celebrate, we call them successful. I can tell you, if you are close to them, they are not successful. It's just media. Me, I can tell you this. 
most of them, when you get close to them, it's just the hallucination. It's on TV. So the TV, you know, will mesmerize a lot of people. So let's put us the yeah. things that we have done. Put them there, package them, build a website, build a profile, put them on TV, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, put them there. Don't, don't, don't shy. Forget about all the institutions trying to chase you. They can't chase you. Put what you do there. Because through that, somebody will know you. Nobody will know what you know if, if you are not known. You know, who will find what you know? And those of us who went to school, that is our problem. We had too much, you know? So uh, <laughs> that's what I would say. Uh, Ajay, if you want to talk to us, uh, you have joined us. If you want to talk to us, we'll be glad. David. Yes, 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 my brother. Yes, <laughs> Good evening. Yes, I was. I, 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 was, en I was enjoying the, the, the points you were dropping. Wow. <laughs> I wish you had gone on and on and on and on. <laughs> nice to have you here. Really, yes. really, really. Yeah. I just saw the link on your on, on Facebook a moment yes. ago. I said, ah. <laughs> I have no time to waste crap. <laughs> sharp, 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 sharp. Thank you, <laughs> My only, only challenge was the time. I thought uh, you had covered a lot already. Uh, uh, oh, no, but still, we want to hear. We we're just talking as Ghanaians, as people who are trying to do something. We're encouraging ourselves that whatever we are doing, we should be proud of it. As a matter of fact, we should not wait for our governments. And as a matter of fact, the other people who we think are doing well, most of them, the governments are holding their hand. So we, should be proud of whatever little achievement uh, that we have. And we are talking to young men who are doing business. So we would want to hear. Oh. Great. Yes, 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 yes. So I had the KNUST student. I, I, mm -hmm. I shout out to remember the name. But yeah. I was talking Osman. about the father is waiting to finish Osman, mm -hmm. finish school and then, or even summer break. Yes. Charlie, that would be too late, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, the future began yesterday. Are you already? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I, I also was at King UST, uh, mm -hmm. You were there. Well, wow. yes, sir. Right from first right from first I was I was doing business. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was producing cats, greeting cats. Oh. Yes, uh, I have some couple who, who owes their relationship to some of the cars I made. Oh, so you were you were forced some people to marry. <laughs> <laughs> I I did t-shirts as well, so I did t-shirts for SRC uh, Nukes. Mm -hmm. Did t-shirts for some churches. Wow. I did posters for. Some of the politicians, student politicians, they were making campaigns. <laughs> Those were the times 3D posters were invoked. I did oh. posters. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Osman, please. Yeah. Please, please don't wait. Okay. okay. And today, it is so easy mm -hmm. with your phone. Mm -hmm. Just with your phone. You don't even need a laptop to, to, to do business today. That's right. Yesterday, we we're supposed to speak to... No, 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 no. Just the phone. And, and today, the phone people are holding mm -hmm. in their hands mm -hmm. are more powerful than the, the, computer. the computer that was used to launch Apollo 11 yeah. into space. That's right. Uh, Osman and the others, if you can Google... Uh, is it, is it, is it, uh, um, uh, Baffin without soap? Baffin without soap. What's the proprietary name? So, yes, or a bath without soap. Okay. Uh, it's a product that was developed by a bright young man in Limpopo. Limpopo, this is South Africa. Uh, they were sitting at the beach, mm -hmm. South Africa, yes. Mm -hmm. They were sitting at the beach, and one one of his colleagues mm -hmm. had a, a brainwave. Said, "I tell you, what if somebody manufactured a, a, a lotion or something that we just put on our skin and we didn't have to bath?" Mm -hmm. So when his friend said this, that thing touched him because it sounded so exciting to him. Mm 
Mm. So from there, he just used yeah. a Nokia, a Nokia phone. Mm. Today, what we call a YAM phone mm -hmm. that had internet access. Wow. To do research on that, wrote a 20, a 40 page patent uh, uh, on the phone. Mm. Uh, did all the formula, all the business, everything on that YAM phone. Mm. and launched the business. I don't know, they Google named him as one of the bright young entrepreneurs wow. for Africa. Wow. Yes. So through just an idea a friend suggested, a mm -hmm. thought a friend shared at the beat, he went ahead and innovated and came up with a product that is saving lives because in his research, his research, he got to know that mm -hmm. one of the diseases that was uh, actually affecting many people in South Africa was, I think, trachoma or something like that. Okay. And it's all because of that. And the solution to trachoma was just having water to wash your face. That's all. No medication, no injection, no nothing. But access to water was a big challenge. It was causing academic dropouts mm. and, and all manner of issues. And this solution mm. that he came up with was mm. saving a whole generation of trachoma, wow. saving time for people to do uh, a, their, co their, I mean, their schooling, mm. less time spent going to look for water. Because just a sachet, small sachet of that lotion he came out with. Mm. You, you smear it on your body and it's the equivalent of a bath for a whole day. Whoa. Wow. All done on a yam phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, Osman, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. I beg you. <laughs> you see, when you go online and you Google any information, especially about Africa, yeah, yeah. how do you get information that has been uploaded by our own people? If you like, try this. It's true. Children, children from Europe, Google. Children from America, Google. Children from Germany, Google. And Google children from Africa. You have the shock of your life. You see miserable children, but we have beautiful children in Africa, but nobody's uploading that content so that everybody who is going to Google looking for information will find it. So those who are uploading information about Africa are uploading the ones we don't like to see because we are not contributing to the internet. Wow. So please start putting information out there. Anything you get, put it out there. And basically, uh, put, build a structured page. Okay. You must be interested in something. Just mm -hmm. put it there. Share your knowledge. Eventually, like my brother suggested, you will be found. Yep. You will never know when somebody is searching for information and chances are for yours. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. Somebody wow. discovers you and you never know where that's you, right. you, you end up. Uh, you see, the problem is so, that we have to replace the, the, the technology with prayer. So we will pray that somebody will find us. <laughs> 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 now, now I think with, with the advent of Corona, most uh -huh. people are getting to know that uh -huh. we've been scammed for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> big time, big time. Long, long. Time. Uh, they say that give give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach him to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. But give him religion, he will mm -hmm. die praying for a fish. Oh. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> so those of you who don't know, uh, Mr. Jay is an architect, as a matter of fact. He's a writer, he's a teacher, he's a speaker. 
hook up, link up with him. All right. If you want his contact, uh, just send me a message. I will send it to you. He's a good man. You know, tech has produced a lot of good people. Don't forget that. Kofi, did you hear that? Tech has produced good people. Uh, <laughs> I think they said Kofi, we are all from tech. If we had a lot oh. of us in parliament, Ghana would, be, would develop, I'm telling you. Would have developed. A lot of the people, the, the lawyers from Legon, that those are. From... <laughs> you know, so, uh, thank you, David. Thank you very much. So, Maxwell, you have any? Uh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, David, you want to say something? Else? Uh, like, you want to say something? If anybody wants to say something, they can say. Mr. Maxwell wanted to say something. Okay. Mr. Maxwell, you can say. Or if, if David... No, I, I'm, I, I'm fine. It's just a bit of religion that you mm -hmm. brought in mm -hmm. that needs a lot to be said mm -hmm. uh, about people who are getting awakening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, we, we, we replace thinking mm -hmm. with prayers and and a lot of the a lot of the young people mm -hmm. who are supposed to be productive mm -hmm. are in the church praying monday to friday <laughs> and 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 i think that uh, keeping quiet is not is not enough to solve the problem that's right are you uh getting your liberation is not enough to solve the problem exactly. until we start talking about it wow yeah we must start talking about it as much as we are talking about businesses and all that look okay if your employer has to go to church every evening mm -hmm. he will not have attention for your business no. if your employee has to go to be, your employee has to go to church every evening he will not have attention for your business he will not do an extra 30 minutes for you because he's the pastor is waiting for him or her. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that uh, uh, these issues mm -hmm. must not be swept under the carpet. Mm -hmm. uh, they, will, they will call us names that mm -hmm. uh, Antichrist and the rest, yeah. Yeah. but we must we speak don't care. about it. We must speak <laughs> we about don't it. Care. So, you know, Master. All the nations that have developed, yes, yes. What you're saying, eh? Come on. The sad thing is that yes. the most religious employees are the most dangerous ones. The most religious are the most dangerous. Yeah. Because they lost their mind. They, they will be the one to take the money, come late, fight you, and give excuses, praying all the time, but they can't do mm. much. Mm. So go ahead, please. Go ahead. Yeah, so I, I, I think that, uh, yes, we must be ready mm -hmm. to, 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 to do something about it. Mm. We must be ready to do something about it. Mm. Nobody is against religion, but it oh. must be measured. That's right. It must be measured. Look, if a pastor can tell you that, oh, if you can eat mice uh, or ants or whatever you get, you know, why can't that pastor preach productivity? Okay. Okay. You see, so I think that we must, we must, we must begin to speak about it mm -hmm. on every occasion, every opportunity that we get mm -hmm. to disabuse the mind of the people. Exactly. True. That's yeah. the liberation that we must work, we must work against. It's true, hundred percent. Okay, I agree. okay. I agree with you. My thoughts. Yeah. Can, can I ask yeah. a question? Okay, Dave, go ahead. Yeah, maybe to all of us, but especially Maxwell, since I'm taking a statement he made. He said that nobody is against religion. Mm -hmm. I want him to elaborate on that. Okay. Because if if we are not against religion, yes, then how how are we saying all the things we are saying? Okay. What's because your... the problem is okay. religion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe he wanted to say Christianity. I think. Okay. Wanted to say we are not against Christianity. Mm -hmm. By exactly the way, my point. Or, Islam. Yes. Yes. or Islam. Or Islam. Okay. 
Yes. <laughs> but the way it is pra practiced, practice. Okay. Not really uh -huh. helping us. The practice. Exactly. That's right. The the true the true Christianity, true Islam, true mm. whatever. Mm. has been watered down to the extent where religion and its crude forms have taken over. And that yeah. one, we must attack it. Absolutely. Yeah. We must not, we must not kindle it. We must not uh, play with it. Wow. Agree. Wow. <laughs> wow. So that, that is what I want to say. Doing business, thank you, David. Doing business, you made so many problems. Now, if your religion is not right, they will tell you that the business you lost, the money you lost, the, the employee who ran away mm -hmm. with, the, with the money is because yeah. something is in mm -hmm. So instead of you exactly. the business and structure it well, now you're looking for supernatural power for something that you don't need supernatural power to solve. This is business, you need data, you need right decisions, but we, our mind will not go there. Our mind will go to prayer and fasting and all those. Before you see the business is gone. Because, you know, the preaching. <laughs> the preaching. So uh, if you have. If your employee, your employee, if your employee has to pay consultation mm -hmm. fee anytime he has to see your pastor. Okay. Uh, the amount is. Uh, Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Employee. Mm -hmm. You are listening. Hello, Master. I think they're not. Oh, I, I, I think his internet is okay. Is all right. Having a but those are heavy loads because. Um, mm. If um, if we if we we have a lot of young men, they are trying to do something. The forces are against us. Let's face it. I don't have a job. I've completed school for four years. Religion is telling me that something is doing me, so I have to go to church and give money <laughs> and spend all my hours in church. I come back. My friend who entered politics, he has now he now has a Land Cruiser, ten houses. Me, they even finish Tego. Same, yeah. He, he joined politics, now he's a rich man. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Let's face it, if you're in that category, if you don't have very strong foundation, you would want to do anything to just survive. You know, and that's why I think, or you may even just try to run away. And that's why I think um, mm. discussing some of these things at least will bring some level of clarity at least for an appreciation of what we all are dealing with. All of us are dealing with uh, these things one way or the other, you know? Mm. So if, if it's not working, that's not mean it will work. And if you made wrong decision and the business is not doing well, it's not just go and make right decision. The business will start to do well, you know? And you have to be brutally, brutally uh, uh, truthful to yourself and to everybody that you deal with, you know? Because, and being truthful too then comes with a lot of pressure. Because the contract that you are looking for, the guy is asking for 10% on top. If you don't give him, he will cut you. That's the reality. You know, and you are saying that you want to be truthful. <laughs> so you don't well, do I that. Want share, uh -huh. I want to share <laughs> something on that. Mm -hmm. An experience I had some time ago. Mm -hmm. We were invited by a colleague mm. to tender for a job. Mm. And apparently, they had a link person who was pushing and had assured them that they were going to get a job. Mm -hmm. So they needed to form partnerships mm -hmm. or like a, a team to execute. So we were interested. It was a very huge job, very huge. Figures. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so this is an architectural work. I say work. very oh. huge. It's an architectural work. OK. Uh, it was like building the whole of mm -hmm. University of Ghana. Whoa. Yeah, it was a huge project. And it was going to include the educational level right from the very foundation mm. to the university level. Mm. Yeah. 
Now, when we started meeting to put together our proposal, then they came up saying that the lead person mm -hmm. says that he needs some money mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to, to push and get us their work. Uh, and from from was going to use to from the it. discussions, <laughs> yes, from the discussions, he had actually purposed that he was going to take enough to buy himself a Mercedes Benz. Wow. In other words, he needed this money up front mm -hmm. to push together as the job, and what he was asking up front. It was said that he wanted to buy a Mercedes Benz out of it. So this is a new so car. So you can I'm imagine. Mm. Yeah. So this is a new Mercedes Coming Benz. Coming in. Exactly. Uh, so at least 100,000. Look at the scale of the project. <laughs> <laughs> so we said that there was no way we were going to make yeah. any advanced mm -hmm. commitment no yes. way mm -hmm. mm. then one of the people who who was involved in a meeting said that he does he didn't understand us mm -hmm. but he was just moving from another meeting where one million ghana mm -hmm. city had exchanged hands quick fast <laughs> <laughs> so what we were saying there so you were eventually, speaking, long story short. You were, you were speaking different language. <laughs> exactly. So we pulled out. Okay. <laughs> we pulled out. And they made some commitments eventually. So mm -hmm. we learned. Mm -hmm. Could you believe that it turned out that it was a 419? Mm -hmm. well, I, I was going was to say true. that. <laughs> exactly. I was going to say that. Eventually, they will lose out. I didn't know he was doing for my Wow. <laughs> so, uh, yes. did, they, did they produce all the drawings or what? What, what did they show you? Hello? I don't get to you. I said, what did they show you? What did they show you? When you met them, what did they show? They can have the key. No, they will, they will just show you a brief. Wow. But they actually had published in their dailies. My God. Mm. Yes, invitation mm. for proposal, expression of interest. Oh, they had gone through the, the processes. Oh. And then I, I've never yes. seen mm. that they could cook it to yes. that level. They yes, can do. they can do. Wow. But mm -hmm. you knew somebody. To date, I don't know if their commitment those other guys made, whether they got their money back. No, I mean, that, that it was- designed. But me, my, my issue is, mm -hmm. my issue is if you have such money to commit, why don't you start something with it? <laughs> why would you want to go in? Yes, if you have that much money sitting uh, we, down- We won't make money, I want that just... <laughs> <laughs> Because almost all the time, there's a problem. Even if it's yeah. a true yeah. um, business, Mm -hmm. The That'll payments, mm -hmm. the wahala around it is always a, a big problem. Yeah, it right. puts people in. Uh, so I'm, I'm just saying this <laughs> to buttress the point you made, mm -hmm. <laughs> so that those who are now entering can be guided. Okay. Yeah. That going mm -hmm. for those kind of things mm -hmm. is not an mm -hmm. option oh, at no. all. So they better start small and mm -hmm. start mm -hmm. early. That's right. Yeah. One thing I've, I, if you study all the big names, big mm -hmm. businesses, okay. one common thread is okay. that often mm -hmm. the one who started, started very early. Okay. So a very early means what? Yeah. Means what age? The moment the, the, moment the idea comes, implement. Okay. All right. Even mm -hmm. if you are seven years old. Okay. And yeah. I say that, the earlier you start, the better, because there's a, a learning curve. Mm -hmm. mm. The earlier you go through that process and get it out of your way, the yeah. better. Fantastic. Yeah. And when you are going through that and you are young, the stakes are not high. There's your no parents dad. are buying for you, there's are no feeding you. No you don't have there's a no child. Dad. You are not paying feed. There's no... Yes, so you can afford to risk it. 
Mm. <laughs> Learn and get the rough period out of the way so that mm. you begin to run the business efficiently early wow. enough. Wow. You see, and what saying, understand that so the true. founder of IBM. What you're saying, David, is so true. Even look at our local market, eh? look at our business people. Yeah. Those who didn't go, who didn't go to school too much and started earlier, early. Look at them. In their 20, yeah. By the time they are 25, 30, they are they are already conquering a whole session. Established. Yes. And that will be the time that we are we are getting through with our PhD or our master. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we we try to cross them. Oh, we pray at politics, eh? We try to cross them. Oh, sometimes we pray <laughs> at Paju. Yeah. Oh, let me go ahead. Go ahead. You wanted to say something? Yeah, I, I was saying that. Uh, understand the founder mm -hmm. of IBM. Okay. Uh, somebody approached him and asked him how the, the person asked like, how can I be successful fast? Okay. And then he told him that if you want to be successful fast, increase your rate of failure. Whoa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In other words, just quickly do the things you need to do. do you are bound quick. to fail. That's fail right. them quickly, 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 and go ahead. <laughs> yeah. oh. We have to fail more. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. These are brilliant ideas. Uh, brilliant ideas. And, and let them let we, we the young ones, or let me say all of us, mm -hmm. uh, we've already said, said so indirectly. Yes. The failures are not because of any demon or <laughs> any witch or <laughs> any other thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. If I remember. Mm -hmm. One of the days, I was interacting with a group of young graduates. Okay. And I was helping them to appreciate the practical nature of life. Mm. And gave so many examples. Uh, and, and this has happened a couple of times. They will listen quietly, uh, then they will pop up a, a very popular question. They will ask, mm -hmm. oh, so then why are we Christians? Whoa. Yes. This is not one, so this has happened several times. And these are young graduates. Why are we Christians means that what? very old. Now, if you are telling me mm -hmm. that I have to go through the practical steps, then why like is it any other person? Then 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 what because over the years, especially in school, you know, schools, mm -hmm. they were just just brothers. <laughs> they, will come all mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't fail. That's right. <laughs> yes. So, no, one of them actually told me that as a Christian, you should never try more than one business. Whoa. The first business you must attempt work. must work. As a matter of fact, that is the teaching anyway. Those are the things that they are teaching them from the faith people. That's true. And you, you give illustrations mm -hmm. of it doesn't work like that. And they'll ask you, then why are we Christians? Well, I. <laughs> <laughs> so if I may ask you, do they have results out of those yes. philosophies as well? Do they have proof of their... Say that again. The conviction. Can they show us how... No, 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 no. There's never... No, 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 no. No, no, no. There's no proof. All they have is um, misapplied scriptures. <laughs> but they held on to I, those misapplied mm, scriptures mm, so okay. strongly. That's right. And that's what Matthew was that, saying. If we are quiet, you see, for instance, a lot of boys, you know, talking everywhere. If you are quiet, they won't get to know the other side. You know? If we are quiet, if we are quiet, I'm not, we, we are not quiet and okay. we won't be quiet. Okay. Are you going to be quiet? No, no, no. No. I'll be surprised if someone like you gets quiet. <laughs> I'll be so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, be quiet. 
So, so we should turn it this way. We should be recruiting more talkers and do okay. it. Okay, okay. All right. As for we keeping quiet, it's out, it's of, out the of the way. All right. I will take that. Yeah, we are not going to keep quiet. Mm. Uh, wow. Yeah, I've, I've faced. Yeah, so we'll keep talking. We should recruit more talkers who are also doers. That's right. And uh, uh, let the voices reach further than. So I want to hear the young had. people. Mm. The young people. The young, so what was the what was the discussion? What was the conclusion with them when they when they told you why are they Christians? What did you what, what happened? So I I I help them to appreciate that mm -hmm. even Jesus. Mm didn't live a life of miracle. Okay. Jesus lived very practical life. Okay. And that miracles are called miracles because they are not the natural cause of things. They are not the natural cause of life. So they don't happen often. Mm. And then I help them to appreciate that when you sleep and you wake up, that is no real miracle. So okay. they shouldn't be excited when the pastor tells them that, oh, even sleeping and waking up is a miracle. A miracle. <laughs> In fact, it's more of a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Which means that there is a lot. Sleeping and waking up, there's no miracle about it. Uh, which means that there is a lot. Which means there's a lot that we. Which means. There's a lot that we need to correct in all of us. Yes, yes. Thankfully, mm. it took about a year mm -hmm. for them to really appreciate some of the very difficult things I shared. Wow. But later, mm -hmm. I heard that the testimony I was getting was that mm -hmm. now, when an issue comes on board, it's a group that meets frequently. Mm -hmm. When an issue comes on board, they'll ask, mm -hmm. if Dave was around, what would he Did have he say? said? Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yes. So what you're saying. Eh? So now, mm -hmm. Go ahead. So now they appreciate the practical mm -hmm. essence of life and that miracles may happen mm -hmm. when we've done our all. Yes. And there's nothing else we could practically do. And it will happen only once a while. That's right. I have a friend. Yes. He was, he was a good man. Very fantastic. He worked with an organization. Then he's, he heard that uh, he wanted to become a pastor. So he quit his job, became a pastor. I had uh, some kind of discussion with him. I told him, listen, you don't need to. You don't need to stop this job to become this. Work. He said, no, 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 no. I heard from, you know, all this thing. I said, okay. <laughs> no then afterwards, he called me one time to say that uh, he needed something for his wife, uh, for his rent. So I, 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 you know, then second time. So I told him, listen, this part you have taken, you're a very intelligent man. Don't take this part. Don't put this stress on you and your family, your young family. You just got married. Then... Just, just last year, I called him. He said, listen, whatever you told me, I've taken it. Now, wow. I'm trying to go back to look for work. Because this thing, this decision I took to follow and become this was not appropriate. And, and yeah. I did it out of this. So it's mostly it's part of the teaching. You know? And if you yes, don't know is. much, then if you don't know much, then they make you to lose your, the power that you have, which is the right decisions you can make. The quality of information that you must have. If you don't, you know, if you don't, if you are taught that you don't need your mind and that anything else can be supernaturally done, that is what the problem is. Yeah. Most of us, this guy is an engineer, actually. And he could be reduced to that. And I said that, listen, your life is going to reflect the quality of decisions that you make. It's not so much those beliefs. And therefore, if you sit down to plan your life, I think you, you do far more than you trying to, you know, <laughs> blame everything on 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 religion and on God, and he he, he accepted that, and so now he's trying to reorganize his life. But you see the wounds that he is causing, oh. you know, and he's not only it's a lot. I, of I, 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 
I hope he he didn't have cause to pray and bind you those times. <laughs> <laughs> he could, maybe he could, because he just he told me that maybe I don't understand what he was saying. I said, listen, you have passed that. Mm. I understood what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I understood it. Try, sit down, have a goal, plan your life, work very well, and organize your life. With time, a lot of the things that you want will come through. So if you just join us, we are discussing business uh, with our young men and women, and uh, we are talking about finance, and we are saying that if you, if you live in Ghana, uh, there are so many opportunities that you can explore. Our problem is the way that we've been fed in terms of information. And uh, if we keep hearing from a lot of the people who do something here, the positive ones, eventually we'll be able to do something with our lives. You know, so um, if you've just if you have just joined us and you want to share anything, you can share with us. Uh, Osman, you can also share something if you want. Kofi, you can also share something. And thank you so much. If any young man has joined us, uh, Kobe, you can also share. Isaac, if if you want to talk, you just go ahead and talk. So maybe we can from that we can just wrap up. So if anybody wants, or even to talk, questions. Okay, or even, even questions. Okay, sir. Or even if you have questions. Okay, okay. Um, my point is, um, with regards to the businesses, the reason why I say um, I would like to um, embark it on after graduation or maybe uh, summer break is that um, right now um, I am trying to work with the uh, campus media. That is the focus of them. Mm -hmm. That um, I've been going there. Yes, yes. I've I've been going there and having some. Um, programs and discussion. So, okay. per my time and my schedule, yes. it's very difficult for me to share it. Um, okay. Have a business. Do, so, do something on the internet. Do something on the internet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Campus, you have more time. That's right. <laughs> do something on the internet. Yeah. Talk to. Yeah. Talk to Kofi. Yeah. See what you can you can collaborate to do. Okay. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yes, Madam Maria yeah, is true. But building statistics and um radio mm -hmm. and maybe also coming to chip in business but i would like to engage in a, a business or, or online business that's what yes, i want to yes. um, add it yes. to uh, osman yes osman, osman there's no yes, time <laughs> osman you know i also yes. did math i was i was an architecture student mm -hmm. okay, okay, sir. nobody is busier than architecture student yeah. on campus yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was working for IHCF, <laughs> UHCF, doing architecture. I was excelling, and I was mm -hmm. doing business at the same time. So what you are saying, the uh, <laughs> you don't go take up. <laughs> also, okay. another thing is, Marie, if you ahead. school somewhere, mm -hmm. Osman, yeah. if you were not yeah, schooling in Ghana and you were schooling, let's say in the West, you mm -hmm. you working twenty hours. Uh, a week okay, okay. And so put that bear that in mind that even though you're not doing any 20 hour work you have to create that time to do that on your own mm, okay mm. so put that and i also did math you know mm -hmm. so i know your time is flexible <laughs> okay so yeah. Osman, now you can you can bluff us with math <laughs> yes okay okay i think okay i think what i'm very that's right so you guys <laughs> So do, do, but it's, it's good for all of us. Whatever that, even your interest, even if it's a project, try to see if you can commercialize it. You know, you okay. said mm -hmm. analytics, a lot of things. You know, they, they just search, search, go to Google. A lot of these digital, digital things, you, which are with the way your your mind is and with the math, there's a lot you can do there. You know, so ask. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to explore. I may not be interested in that. I may not even have the expertise for that. But I'm sure there are things that you may easily, uh, you know, uh, you know, have some passion for, and those things can easily be turned into something. It may be something that has not even been done here. You know, we just want you yeah. to explore, just get that open and say that I can do something, and you never know where that thing can take you to. You know? Take advantage of the, of the internet. Take advantage of it. There are a lot of people. Okay. Who are doing so many things on the internet? Just on YouTube, um, people are writing books on Amazon, getting paid. People are selling things. These platforms are just everywhere. There's and we you can actually can... interview, mm -hmm. and also you can even interview students and mm -hmm. load on YouTube. Okay. Yes, you can okay. take videos. Yeah. 
Yeah. Campos is big. It's very yeah. nice. Yeah. 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 On YouTube. This traditional thinking, eh? That I've gone to school. When I finish, I'm going to look for a job. Please. Cut them. It's over. Obsolete. <laughs> Obsolete. Cut them. Because those old men there, they are not moving you. These politicians, you see, they are. <laughs> they are not dying to there. They don't, they don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> we have to create something for us. Okay. And uh, okay. even if you are the VC, you can still do something. There are medical doctors now who are doing who are doing all kinds of things to support themselves, and some of mm. them are building businesses. So this idea that I'm an engineer, so this is what if I'm an engineer and I have to go and sell policy, I will go and do it. Okay, I have to. What is the engineer? Somebody gave it to you. I'm an architect. Yes, it's a name, but you know you don't need that name for anything. There are so many things. There, there are so many professions now. Somebody says is a is a group administrator. Do you know what it means that? Uh, is a group administrator means that he has a WhatsApp group that he created, so he's not the administrator. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact is that there are a lot of businesses coming from these groups. You have no idea. You're connecting people. That's all. People are managing their companies with just WhatsApp groups. The world has changed. Any little thing can explode. Any little thing, any small idea can explode. You know, so... Uh, try if it doesn't work, we try another one until it works. It's Kofi here, uh, okay? Mm. Yeah, it's Kofi here. Um, okay, thank you very much. Mr. Kofi. That's right. If anybody else wants to say something, we, we could be wrapping up. Isaac, if you want to say something, please say. So, Madam, Mary, I'll get in touch with you on WhatsApp. Yes, if you okay. want your number, I will send you. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yes, talk to them. All right. Uh, good evening, as I've been there. Hey, yes, I was. Yeah. Um, congratulations. Okay. Yes, I would like to chip in something. Um, mm -hmm. we really overemphasize mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on education, thinking education is everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you realize that even the education that you acquire, the knowledge that you acquire, you still need to do something with your hands. Okay. So it isn't just the education, reading and that's all that will put food on your table. No, mm. but it's something that you need to put your shoulders to the wheel, your hands, and then everything. Okay. But there's one thing I would like to share. Okay. The school, no matter where you go, mm. the school can only offer you A or B or C or D, even at worst, F. Okay. But don't forget, you require A up to Z to make your life full. So okay. if the school can offer you only one of those, mm -hmm. who will complete the rest for you? All right. Okay. So if you understand this, the school is just a basis how mm -hmm. to actually understand certain concepts, how to put it into practice, mm -hmm. and how you can let let your mind do not allow your mind to work after getting those bases, mm -hmm. and then it's meaningless going to school. Okay. So we go to school to acquire certain knowledge, and then from there, you look at how you can apply, looking at your premises, okay. your environment, mm -hmm. how you can apply that knowledge in your environment to solve problems. And that is what we are lacking now. Okay. I'm a recorderist. How did I... Um, I even I'm projects. I'm still school mm -hmm. to my prof, that prof. In fact, some of the things teaching us is a cake. Well, you told him. You told him. Oh, yes, I told him. I, but I did not tell him as I'm telling him. But okay. He gave. He brought out a formula. Okay. And the formula that we were doing was uh, it was uh, it was I was 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 like watching a cartoon. I didn't even understand anything, and I asked him. So this long formula, this long formula that you are putting up there, how would my farmer in my village help him to let him grow more? That's what I asked him. How will it affect the farmer in my village? To help him to grow more, so that he can get food on the table, get more money to cater family. And, what and then he, he was looking at me, didn't know what to say. 
And then he said, well, uh, when we get further, I will understand. <laughs> That's right. OK. <laughs> the, the school system that we have is not helping us. OK. And if they will allow, mm. we can keep in some of the concept that is new Mm -hmm. or something that can help the job market. So mm -hmm. that the person in the classroom will not think that he have to free school for the government to give him employment. Wow. And that is what is eating us up. Wow. And everything we overburden the government. So I don't have to take your show, but I'm happy for that, yeah. Thank you very much, thank you. If you don't know, um, Isaac, is, uh, I, tell us what you do. Some people will be interested in what you do as well. So tell us what you do. All right. Um, there are several concepts that I've developed, but first I would like to share with you um, farming concept. We do okay. farms, being mm -hmm. it crops, being it animals, mm -hmm. for people who might not have the time, mm -hmm. for people who might not know to have the skills and mm -hmm. the required knowledge, mm -hmm. the people who might have some level of money or capital, but mm -hmm. wouldn't know what to invest in, and then we come in as a business entity, service provider. Mm. And then if you have land, mm. and then we'll come in and then develop the land for you. So let's assume you want to go grow cocoa. Mm -hmm. We, let's say you have 20 acres. Yes. We will come and clear the land, prepare the land. We plant maize 20 acres. We plant plantain 20 acres, and then we plant cocoa 20 acres wow. on the same piece of land. And then what we do is we will cater for the project for one year. And then whatever comes out of it, that's a process. We don't share any of the process with you. Everything belongs to you. Mm -hmm. And then you pay us after we've done the budget and we understand mm -hmm. how much you need to pay. And yeah. then you pay us by installment. Okay. So made it in a way that the maize will pay part of the cost. Mm -hmm. And then if you're not able to pay all, the plantain that you'll be harvesting for the next two, three to four years, first two years should be able to pay the cost. And then the rest of the years in harvesting the plantain will be your profit. Whilst the cocoa two and a half to three years will also be fruiting and that will be your profit. So that's the way we're doing it. It's better than putting your money at the bank without getting anything out of it. So we allow lawyers also to come in Okay. And then that's what we do for now, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Isaac, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So uh, yes, if anybody else has something to say, you can say it. Um, Nessie, if you want to say something, you can say it, if you can hear me. Hello? Yes. Are you hearing me? We, we're hearing you. Hi, I just I just got in on the program. There's a large a time difference. I'm in Grenada okay. and the time here is two o'clock. So I just got in kind of late because I was doing some things. All right. But we would love to hear what you have to say. If you had anything. But I don't know because I just, I just got in on the forum. So okay. I just got a All little right. of what's going on. Okay, that's yeah. that's fine. And so You're welcome. We... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We are talking about business and finance and some of the things that we all have to know um, as Africans, the business, the opportunities that we all have to create for ourselves. You know, and much of it is the, is the mindset, is how we see ourselves, how we see the opportunities around us. And those are the things that we are talking about. And so people have shared their, their own experiences as to what they have been through, what they continue to do. And uh, that's, that's about it. So. Uh, was fun. If anybody else has anything to say, uh, we have gone about an hour plus, maybe one hour, 30 minutes, or almost two hours. <laughs> so you just. Uh, if if she is also in business, we would like to hear from her what okay. she is into. Okay. And I'm not in business, actually. I'm retired. I'm retired already. Okay. I, okay. Uh, I retired uh, since 2018. I used uh -huh. to live in the U.S. in Maryland, and I'm retired, and Grenada is where I was born. So um, actually, in Grenada, my husband is from Trinidad, and it's 
kind of bad there. Mm -hmm. And they are under lockdown. So we try to get to Trinidad, but we've been in Grenada since December 23rd. Okay. And it mm -hmm. looks like we're going to be here in Grenada permanently because I have my home in Grenada. I also have my home in the U.S. So wow. um, this, this, this world is like crazy right now. And mm -hmm. we don't know what's going to happen from one moment to the next. So Wow. All I can say, I just have to put my trust in God and in my fellow men, my fellow being, people who are like me, who are like-minded. Yep. But I can just offer anything, maybe because I was telling someone, I'm trying to get to Ghana in November. We have this group called Embrana. Okay. And I'm trying to we're trying to get to Ghana in November. But if we if I have to take that vaccine, I'm not going to come because I don't want that thing in my system. So I just want to make sure <laughs> that by the time I'm ready to leave here, I don't have to take that vaccine because I really not putting that into All my right. system. But but at the moment, at the moment, I'm not sure it's a requirement uh, for you to come together. We don't know if they will change. At the moment. Yes, okay. we don't know. But um, okay. that's November we're looking at. So we not, mm. we're not sure what's going to happen. Hmm. from now until November. So it's like wow. a wait and see. So how is the COVID day in Grenada? Huh? How is the There's COVID? none, actually. There's none. There's Whoa. none in Grenada. Wow. No. That's good news. Yeah, because one person died from it way back mm -hmm. in January, but his daughter said that he actually didn't have any. So mm -hmm. my thing is like, if there's none in Grenada, why are people taking the vaccine here? That's something I don't to understand. Prevent it. Yeah, they're saying to prevent it, but it's like it's not here. So what are we preventing that's not here? Okay. But, you know, it's just crazy how people mm -hmm. are just, some people are just, not a lot of people taking it here, but mm. the, the hotel industry are required to take it because they tell them um, to keep your job, you have to be vaccinated. Wow. But the thing is, if people would come together, if they don't want it, they all could come together and say, we're not taking it and they're not going to fire. But people don't think like that. They're thinking that they have a job, they have their family to feed. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they're not going to think, let's come together to stand together because in unity, there's strength. They're not thinking like that. Everybody's mm -hmm. just like selfish thinking. This mm -hmm. is for my family, this is my children. But I mean, I am retired. I don't have like little children. I have two grown sons. Okay. One still live in, in, um, in the US. Yeah. But um, we have to come together. It seems that we are just like fighting against each other. And we need to stop doing that. It's like, mm. why can't we just get it that we need to stick together? This is what we need to do. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. 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 <laughs> so whenever you are in Ghana, let us, let us know you are here. Uh, you can, okay. we can, we can link up with WhatsApp as well. Uh, so if any, any, Letter that we can do to make your your stay here convenient. Uh, we, we should be able to do that. So let's okay. Make up. And, yeah. and Grenada has the same color flag as Ghana. It's the see? same green, red, and gold. Yes. Same people. <laughs> we can't wait to yes, see you same here. People. Yeah. Can't wait yes. To see you here. Wow. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. So let's uh, Thank you. In contact. I will, I will look for your WhatsApp and send you. Or you can look at the link and maybe say hi to me so that I can keep your number okay. as well. All right. Thank you. So How you pronounce it, your name, Kwabina? Or you yes, pronounce Kwabina, your name? you're right. Yes, Kwabina. Yes, okay. You're right. Yes. All right. Yeah. It means I was born on Tuesday. I am, you know. Oh, so, okay. That's, that's what it means. All right. All right. So thank you. If anybody else has something to say, uh, we can say it or then we say goodbye. And uh, if you think it's been helpful, let's know. Uh, so maybe next time we can see if we can do it again. So uh, I will start with. Uh, I, think, mm -hmm. I think it's been helpful by the time most people didn't get to know of it okay. before we started. Okay. Yeah. So I'm. Um, Go ahead. Please. Please. Okay. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. You are off. Yeah. So a day notice will be more helpful to us. All right. 
okay. time. And we should be having it more often, if that's okay with you. Yes, madam. Yes. Um, <laughs> what I what I need to know is what's the time difference? Okay. What time is it? What time is it over there? This is six, it's six 11. eleven. Six six eleven. Yes. Oh, uh, it's two eleven yeah. here. So it's in four the morning. hours. Okay. It's four hours. Afternoon. In the, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. All right. So it's four hours. I four think. Hours. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So we are ahead of them. Is that what it means? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, so yes. Marie, we take it. So next time we will, we will do it and put it in advance, so that we can we can share. Mm. All right, Mr. J, uh, please talk. Hello, David. Hello. Yes, I was. Uh, my my real family meeting be Monday. Okay, 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 okay. No problem. So we thank you. Maybe we. we uh, Okay. Uh, we want to say thank you very much. If you want to say something too, no problem, briefly. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's been nice interacting with all of you. I look forward to another session. Yes, sir. Yes. We appreciate God bless you, you all. Thank Taking you. Your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Right. Isaac, uh, you can say something. if. No, I think it's okay. Okay. All right. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you for taking your time to be here. Let's see if I pronounce your name right. Thank you for- That's correct. Yes. So maybe, yes, we're just wrapping up. We understand you came in late, but at least you know, if, if you have some work for us. Hello. Hello. Are you speaking to me? I'm yes, not, I'm, I, I, I didn't hear that. that. Yes. If you have some few words for us, we are trying to wrap up. Uh, we know you came in late, but we appreciate that. Taking your time to join us. Um, my thing is like, I would like to live on the continent. I listen to Dr. Arikana regularly. Yep. And I listen to Joshua mm. Moponga. Moponga. Um, yeah, I listen to them and I, I have this thing that I, I, like I want to go to Ghana. I'm not okay. sure where in Africa, where, what, what country in Africa I need to be. I'm the, I, I don't know. Ghana. I haven't checked that, out my DNA no. or whatever, but yeah, I, can, I just I can, like Ghana. Yes, Ghana is perfect. <laughs> yeah, so I would like it because you listen to... Um, the expats living in Ghana, and then you have the Jamaicans that live in Ghana. And to me, like, like there's something about Ghana that's reaching out to me. I don't know what yes. it is, yes. but I also have friends <laughs> from Nigeria. So it's like, we beat which, Nigeria. which we way beat do them. I go? We beat them. They you have, have to come, money, come to Ghana first. They have to come to Ghana. <laughs> yeah, that's the, to that's to Ghana first. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think so too. Maybe when I get to Ghana, I won't be able to leave because I would probably <laughs> like that place so yes, much yes, because yes. Nigeria yeah, has money. been there, but I but I like it. Yes, <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. You should be in Ghana actually. You should, you should at least have a visit. It's, it's okay. you, you love it. What you hear about our brothers and sisters who visit is good. It's good news. Most of them. Yes, it's good. And Moya, what's his name? Moya something. Me and my mom. I listen to him too. What am I? Well, Maya is Boy, Maya, Maya, yes, my mom. Yeah, I listen to him a lot. Wow. 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 We appreciate that. We appreciate that. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Osman, please, your, your word, your last word. Oh, for me, I would like to say thank you very much um, for the contribution, the discussion that we had. Mm -hmm. And moreover, um, I would like to um, have a, a personal interaction with Mary and okay. Madam Mary, yeah, <laughs> and um, um, the lecturer, okay. I don't know, I, I, I forgot the name. David. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Okay. David. Yeah. All right, no yeah. problem. Send me a message, I will send you their contacts. Okay. okay. As well. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. All right, okay. And um, uh, who again, Kobe? Yes, sir. Yes, so you, you heard something. I, 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 I sent you uh, all the short notice, but what did you hear and what you can have this last word? For us, um, I, I, I heard everything about the okay. youths, and then us. Uh, we, we, I, I came in later, 
with the gun mm-hmm. when Madame Nessie was speaking. Okay. That she was supposed to move to Ghana in November. Okay. That was when I picked that from. But then later, earlier on, mm-hmm. you were talking about, I think, um, um, Auntie Marie was talking up, was advising and um, Osman to take his business. Okay. I think he has to study and take business serious too. That's, that's, right. that's when I know. So if you could quite enlighten me on what you spoke about. Okay. So we want to say thank you for taking your time. And thank you everybody for joining. So next time you will, you will drop. Hello? Hello? Yes. So next time we will drop the link earlier. And so that uh, at least okay. we can all uh, invite some of our friends who will be uh, interested in being part of the discussion. So we want to say thank you very much. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. We appreciate thank that. Thank you. Good night, everybody. All right. All right. All right. Thank you.